hi guys happy sunday welcome back to my channel i am going to be doing a reading for you guys i am first and foremost divine mother goddess yamaya your intuitive guide and i thank you thank you thank you for all coming back if you're returning viewers to my channel if you haven't already please do subscribe to my channel i look forward to having you a part of my soul family and for all of my returning subscribers thank you thank you thank you for coming back i love to see you all and i'm happy that you come here for your intuitive readings i am just going to be set shuffling the deck one more time and we're going to be getting started i'm going to be reading for sun moon and rising signs in aries yes aries and so it says that you can't go back to yesterday so this card is basically telling you to make sure that you're living in today make sure that you're being thankful for everything that you receive on today making sure that everything that you have and everything that you work for you're really grateful for being reminded that you know whatever you could have done in the past whoever you could have been in the past as well as anyone from your past you know if they're not here any longer in your life they're gone for a reason you know not everyone is meant to be here is here at this present time in your life because that's where they should be right now in your life and the ones that you know aren't here aren't present anymore they're the ones who basically were brought to teach you lessons as well as, you know, you could have learned and got many blessings from them and had to move on past that. Um, those, um, you know, relationship, friendships, you know, opportunities and things of that sort, just because you needed to grow into this phase that you're in at this present moment and being in the now is going to help you to appreciate the things that will be coming towards you in the future. So be sure not to, you know, count your blessings as a um, as a loss because they're definitely not. They're here at this time for a reason, whether you accept them or not. You were gifted them because you needed either to learn from them or because you deserve them in some way or another. It says such a curious dream. So you could need to ground yourself at this time just because whatever you're getting past or whatever you're going growing past is something that you're having a hard time to deal with. It is something that is, you know, making you really unsettled, but it could be something that you needed to go through, as I was saying, to grow through as well just so that you can be where you are now you could um, be in a time and place where you've been traveling a lot and now you're getting ready to go home leaving the things in the past in the past and going towards a different direction as well as starting a new journey it says set your course so um it's basically telling me that you need to make sure that even if you are on your way home or wherever you're going to make sure that you have a plan in place make sure that you know um you're not living in the past because right now you are at this place that you are in because there's something big waiting for you or even if it's not big in a positive way there's something that's coming towards you that is going to need your full attention you're going to have to be fully focused and grounded in order for you to deal with the situation that you're getting ready to walk into or that's getting ready to be presented to you as well as possibly something from the past coming towards you again you have to make sure that you know your your mind is set as well as focused so that you don't get thrown off course or you know get set back because of you living in the past and when you really in all essence should be living in the present as well as you know recognizing things for what they are and being able to accept them for as they are without feeling like you had to hold on to them or they were meant to be a different way than how they turned out the way they turned out was meant to happen for a reason don't question it or you know beat yourself up about the situation if it was not a negative negative you know experience if it wasn't a negative experience it's okay it was meant for you to go through that everything happens for a reason your rejection to something is for your protection for something bigger for something that you're 
you're meant to have instead of something that you're missing you feel like you're missing out on or something that you could be missing dearly that could be no longer present at this time curious sir and curious sir so you could be wondering why the thing that you know you're going why the things that you're going through is no longer a part of your present anymore you could really be set on wishing that things from your past was the way that they used to be but you know yesterday is gone and you only have today you have to remember that it says that look and you remember that you can't go back to yesterday spirit come through so yeah it's still telling you be in the present know that and you have to keep up with the present look you have the time clock there that time is taken away and if you're looking and visualizing thing things on you know a negative level you won't be able to advance to your future you won't be able to advance in a positive way because you're holding on to the things that no longer serves you you have to appreciate the things from your past you have to you have to you have to no matter how they came out for you no matter how the cards were drawn for you you have to acknowledge that the way that they were drawn to you were for a reason be it negative or positive the birds are chirping that is nothing but the truth literally there's a black crow here something has died off something is over you're walking into a rebirth and this rebirth that you're having you're presently going through you're presently experiencing it because something greater is coming towards you your greater is yet to come you have to be patient for it because in time it will be here you're being advanced towards something better you had to lose what you were holding on to so that you can receive what's meant for you and I know that's so hard for us to try to comprehend at times because it's like, but this was good for me. I really enjoyed having that. I really enjoyed being a part of that. I really enjoyed doing that, but I no longer have it anymore. And it can make you weep. It can make you feel really weak as well. But you have to recognize it for what it is you have to try to reflect over the many things that you had to go through the many things that you had to endure being present with those things that were in your past those people from your past you have to remember how it made you feel you have to remember the mind state that you were in be it bad or good if it was good or bad take those experiences try to change the bad ones from the bad ones into good and the good ones remember to hold on to those great memories and take them carry them into your future with positivity carry them with optimism because you should understand it if you've gotten past them in a positive way remember you made it through it even if it was negative and remember that your lessons is going to be an experience for someone to learn from in order for them to be sure of not to make that same you know have that same obstacle become a mistake for them i don't necessarily want to be say that it was a mistake for you because i feel like some things we go through even though we might just seem seem to view them as a minor you know mistake it was just possibly a roadblock or a setback that was meant to hold you up there to delay you there for a quick second for a split second in order for you to you know get more prepared get more ready and more refined in order for you to be in your presence that you're in now whatever you're in taking at this moment to walk towards your future in order for you to be able to accept what comes towards you without destroying it or distracting it or sabotaging it because you're not recognizing of the blessings that's within that new gift that's coming towards you and i say gift because spirit is telling me that some good things are coming into your life and i'm not just saying that to say it i literally see keeping up on this card with advance which means that some things are going to push you forward in order for you to be able to be open and receptive to blessings and blessings is always something that is good for you whether you want to appreciate them or now it says it's always tea time so you could feel like you need to keep repeating the same thing over and over again but yet again i'm telling you that that thing that you want to keep repeating is something that is holding you up it says all must have prizes and i don't even need to read this card in order for me to understand that you know um you could have been in a state of really trying to you know 
feel like everything needed to be perfectly done for other people instead of you worrying about yourself. Sometimes we have to be selfish with ourselves in the actions that we take and to move forward and progress in life because those things that we're, we're using as, you know, crutches as in that could be as far as people, things, places, those things are holding us back. Sometimes we hold on to things for too long. Sometimes we hold on to places that we're in for too long. Sometimes we tell ourselves, I'm never going to leave this place. But imagine if you never left that place, all of the many beautiful places and many people and many beautiful things that you could be meeting, experiencing and grain, gaining beautiful experience from a hair grain. So it's like, I feel like, you know, you could either be going against the grain by trying not to move forward, but also grain could be something that is a um, a production, something that is can make, you know, it, it, grain helps you, help grain fit, fulfills you um, in a way where it helps your body to be able to, you know, um, live longer, is healthy for you. Grain is something that we, we need, we must have within our body in order for us to live a longer life. And so... I really want you to be mindful of, you know, pondering on the past things or the past places that you had to move forward past in order and the past people that you had to move forward from in order for you to go forward and be receptive of the blessings the universe wants for you to have. You could have been working really hard. You could have also been praying away from those things that you were in places you were in, people you were around. And now that you've actually made it past it and God has removed you and you've removed yourself, you could feel more wholesome and it can make you feel uncomfortable it can make you question why do i deserve to have this experience why am i the one who got to make it out you could have left other people behind because they weren't on the same page as you and it makes you feel selfish and wrong because those people weren't able to keep up with you they those people weren't able to recognize that they needed to change as well and it could hurt you a lot could hurt you a lot but you have to understand that a lot of those things were meant to happen okay a lot of those things are actually going to help them as well as help you you just have to be open you have to open yourself up because when people see you blessed they'll also if you love those people from your past enough and it's meant for you to go back to them or for them to come back. I don't, I don't really want to say go back to them because you're you're in a place where you're advancing. It's really like if those people are supposed to come back to you, then they will actually do the, the work and do the things that they need to do in order to catch up to you. Why should we have to go backwards instead of progressing forward? You need to allow those people back there to meet you here. And if they're not meeting you here, you just have to keep going because you're going to miss what spirit has that's bringing in and towards you here in order for you to get there. Okay, so remember that. Keep that in mind um, on today, Aries, and keep that in mind whenever this reading does fall follow you and find you that you have to follow your heart and your heart could have told you that you needed to let some things go don't feel like you made a bad decision by saying that and speaking that and manifesting those things to you because now those manifestations have begun to work out for you spirit has done the work for you as well as you yourself in order for these things to come to pass don't feel sorry do not feel sad that things have closed out cycles have ended the time has ended and those people have to now try to catch up to you to keep up with you because you're advancing at a really quick pace but that is all that i have for you aries please be on the lookout for my next bonus reading later on today um and if you have not gotten your zodiac read for your specific sun moon or rising signs please do check out my next readings that will be coming up at some point soon so be on the lookout for the rest of the zodiac readings and if you haven't done so already please do subscribe to my channel as well as be sure to like this video if it resonates with you this does not have to be your specific sign it could be someone that's related to you someone who is thinking of you someone from your past as well as someone coming towards you in your future Future. okay so i hope that you all have a blessed prosperous and fulfilling day and i'll see you all soon bye